Alright guys, welcome back. So, in this part we're going to be taking on AS Roma. Uh, just really quickly though, this is the new formation that I'm going to be using. Um, so really what I'm trying to do here is exploit Gerard and Haleb on the attacking midfield. Uh, and I'm going to try uh, Torres up front with Cissé just because they're both on form. And uh, I'm just going to see how that goes and um, just something different. So let's go with that. And here we are guys, we're against Roma today, so um, yeah, in the last part we had a very good game against um, Atletico Madrid, um, Torres got a couple of goals on his debut, so very happy with that, and CC from the, straight off the bat there with a, <laughs> with a chance there, it was a very dodgy back pass, and uh, could have been 1-0 up straight away, but not. Um, so yeah, the, the whole thing with the new formation is that I want to try and make the most of Haleb, and um, in Gerard a bit more because I think them two really work well together in the midfield to be honest and I want to see how that kind of goes and Carson's had to come out and he's gathered up somehow there it's a bit weird but it worked and CC oh he couldn't turn or anything um, yeah so I'm gonna try um, these two up front today, um, just for the simple reason that CC is on form. I was going to put Schwartz in, but decided against it in the end. Um, so it should work out pretty well. And um, here's Haleb into the middle. No, nothing there. And uh, yeah, because I think uh, next season, with there being lots of games, uh, like I've said before, there's going to be uh, there's going to be the cup games, there's going to be European games and league games. So I think stamina and keeping on top of stamina is the key next season. Um, and we've got a lot of players in our squad now that we can rotate around, so it, it works pretty well. But I just don't want to sort of um, have an overload of players maybe up front. I think because um, if I put say three strikers up front and a 4-3-3 three, three. yeah that that'll work well in a match but at the same time um, they all could get very tired and if they all get tired we need uh, players to replace them so it's a bit debatable um, really and uh, last time we played Roma um, we we beat them 6-0 um, so in pre-season last season so you never know what will happen today really um, you know, I doubt we're going to get that same result again. I would hope we would, but I, I doubt it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, uh, Sissoko's in the midfield with Haman. That's what I just decided to go with today. Um, also, um, I think I put Whitbread in, um, along with Heitinger uh, at the back. Because uh, you know, they were on form. Carson is in goal. Um, he always plays well, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else too notable, really. Haleb with a shot. I mean, I'll chase it down, but he can't get to it. And Gerard's going to take this throw in here. That's a good ball to see, say, but the defender was there. So yeah, um, we've got players like Rubinho that we can rotate out on the wide um, positions. Uh, we've also got Shimizu as well, and you know we've got Kalstrom as well. So we're we're really good for um, for for players in attacking positions, really. So there's not really anything to worry about, and <laughs> looked like it was in, but it wasn't um, somehow. Wow, that really I think it should have been one nil to Roma there, but. Oh well, we'll take it. We'll take it. Ball there to Haleb. Can he pick out Torres? Oh no, he can't in the end. But yeah, Torres is working well. He's got good stamina as well, Torres, which is another thing about him that's all right. Um, because uh, like, I think probably him and Schwartz up front will, will work together but I'm just kind of still experimenting at this time but I think a 4-4-2 formation will be a little bit better possibly and that's offside from Cassano there here's Whitbread Gerard 
He left. Bad. Risa. Ah, oh, nobody there really. Arisa's getting down that left-hand side very well. Um, yeah, in the last part, actually, I was looking at some of the um, the, the the transfer market and seeing who's around. Um, but the problem is that I think I'm really content with the team, honestly. Um, I was maybe going to have a cheeky bid on Mascherano, <laughs> um, of all players. But then I kind of thought, you know what, I think I've done enough already. Um, you know, we'll see how the pre-season goes and see what kind of money we've got left. And I don't know, maybe when there's about one game to go in pre-season, maybe we can have a cheeky bid on someone, possibly. But I think, to be honest, really, 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 really content with the team so far and, and the signings we've brought in. I'm more than happy with it. And I think if we leave the if we leave the funds now, there'll be more um, funds available for, for January. So, yeah, it's not too bad, but... I couldn't. I couldn't really be happier than what we've done already. You know what I mean. And getting the deals done early is uh, is always a good sign. Like I say, um, too many times it's happened on Pez to me when I'm playing Master League. There'll be a certain player that I want to sign, and I just cannot sign him no matter what I offer him. And um, it just it always happens. And Gerard shoved off the ball, but it's Haleb. Oh, just wide from Haleb. It looked like it was going in. I think just kind of some of the spin on the ball kind of did it there. Fernando Torres. We had a lot of men up front, honestly, there. He led. Danger now, down on the left hand side. Torres, great save by the keeper. Good space there he was in, had to hit it first time, but the keeper was all over it in the end. It's back into the middle. Torres, another great save. Almost a similar position there. He's good at hitting the ball first time. Gerard's going to whip this one in again. CC off the post from CC. <laughs> Unbelievable. We're having some bad luck in this game, but we're having good chances nonetheless. CC on the 10. Not enough. Ah, it's very frustrating that. Finn on there. Oh. Carson's going to gather, that's fine. Risa. Gibril Cisse. Cisse. Torres. Goalkeeper's out to it. Their goalkeeper's having a pretty good game. If I, if I have to. Um, Pick out one player that's pretty much playing well. Oh, that's a good ball. We're under pressure here. Sissoko help him out. No, oh, we can't seem to get him, and it's a goal for Roma. That's a very good goal. That's the first goal we've conceded this preseason. Very nice goal there for Roma. Nobody could get in the way of him, unfortunately. Just everybody just weaved his way through all our defenders there. And then just slotted in the top corner. Yeah, I think we, we just kind of have to give him that, really. Oh, well, it's... Uh, it's 1-0 to Roma, then, and we are behind in this game. Had a lot of chances though, I have to say, considering we switched around a few things. Um, so it, it's not all bad. Yeah, we are behind, but I think that was just a little bit of dodgy defending, to be honest. Oh, and it's a little bit dodgy there. 
Gibra Cisse. Gerard with the shot. And Torres with the follow up. It was a very powerful drive from uh, Gerard there. Going to boot this one up. Yeah, I think we need to come out and play a little bit better in the second half. Maybe. It's gone pretty fast, actually. Um, lots of chances. Lots of chances. The only disappointing thing is that we haven't put one of those chances away yet. So hopefully in the uh, second half we can do that. Not going to change anything up. All right, here we go then. Second half. Torres uh, up and running there from the kickoff. Very, really liking him at the moment. Playing very well. Torres is, is of course the number nine, um, which has been switched around. Uh, Cisse was the number nine, but he's now number 19. Oh, could have been. Cisse with the shot. And away there. And very well so far, Aroma. Carson gathers up there. There's always a late Carson, he's done very well. That's very well done by Gerard. Here's Torres. He's going to create some space. He went for the shot. Into the middle. Nobody there. Sissoko with a shot. And he's lost it. Can't win it back. Mancini. He's latched onto the through ball. No, oh, and that's going to go out. Yeah, I mean, we've just been a bit unlucky, I think, so far. Really. Good uh, switch of play there. So running off the ball to the cross. Can't they keep defending like that? Nakor. Not really getting the ball here. Roma passing it around well. Playing playing a lot better than they did last time we played them, that's for sure. That's well cut out. Oh, that's a brilliant ball. Oh, Torres couldn't control it. Defenders were in the way. Can't hold on to the ball there. No way through. Sissoko. Good pass in. Gibril Cisse. Oh, and a free kick given there. They need to make sure they prevent the equaliser here. Well, it's debatable. Haleb's going to go for it. Oh, it was that goal. It was a pretty nice shot in the end. Uh, Alonso's going to come on for Haman, I've uh, decided. Um, yeah, not really much I can do, really. I just want to keep things as they are, but the clock's ticking down at the moment. Fernando Torres. He's free down the right flank. Oh, and that's a good ball in, and it flew past everyone. The man who was about to come off there could have had a goal. Don't remember when if he has actually scored for us or not. The man. They brought on a sub, Trevor. Yes, and I think it's come at just the right time. Volvo. Kibu. Has now. Mexed. Gathered up by Carson. Yeah, it is a little bit frustrating because it, it feels like we are losing the ball quite a bit and we can't get it back sometimes. And You know what I mean? It feels like we are passing around very well at times, but, you know, if you can't do anything with the ball, you know, what can you do really? Just things like that right there, you know. Oh, well, Haleb's won it back. 
played into the danger zone. Well, the cross wasn't bad, but some quick reaction. Gerard's going to put it into the middle. Yeah, just nothing really happening. Kleb with a shot, not good enough. The height was right, but there was not enough power in the shot. Totti has now. It's created a counter raid for them. Good ball. Good ball. It's found Torres. Oh, he was tripped. He tried to make a little bit of space. Kleb's going to go for this one, I think. What a goal from Haleb! Great free kick from him, right back into the match now, 1-1. Brilliant free kick from Haleb there. Great strike. Back into the game. Fantastic, so, you know, maybe the free kick goals are starting to come now with all these um, extra chances that we seem to be having. Rubinho scored a free kick at the back end of last season and now uh, Haleb's got one uh, this season already, so, yeah, maybe we've got a couple of contenders for free kick takers in the future. We're almost in the final quarter of an hour. Some good movement by Torres there. Into the middle. Reset. Oh, flew past everyone. CC was in a bit of space there to maybe tap it in at the back post, but he couldn't reach it. It was a good strike from Marisa coming up from the back. The Rossi's going to come off there, and I think Cassano decided that I'm going to bring Giladino on, um, and I'm also going to bring on Kalstrom and Felipe, so... Yeah, just change it up a little bit, I guess. Why not? But yeah, I'm 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 very happy to be honest. I mean, um, oh, that could have been a good ball through. Torres can't grab it. Yes, he has. Oh, he's lost it again. Um, yeah, I mean, it took a free kick for us to get back into the game, but still, it's not the worst thing in the world, honestly. So. That's a good ball. Torres. Oh. It is a corner though. Kostrom's going to take it into the middle. Oh, Giladino was there. He was waiting. Oh, Roma have got a few men forward here. Risa couldn't get that one. Oh, he's running through them all. We. Got it back though. It's back with Roma. Reese has got it away. Fernando Torres. It's a good ball. Giladino. Giladino, here he is. We've got men forward. It could have been. Is it still in? No, oh, it's not. Unbelievable there. Yeah, I mean, it, it could have easily been, but I guess not. Oh, it's aware. Kleb's done really well in this match, to be honest. I'm, I'm quite impressed by him today. That's not just because he scored a free kick. Oh, oh. Kostrom, who is the captain temporarily, as uh, he was taken off for Gerard. All these men forward, can we create something? The ball's away, Sissoko's got a track back. Heitinger. Whitbread. Oh, Whitbread's giving it away, but Heitinger's backtracking. Giladino. Oh, no runs there from him. Last minute of the game, if uh, somebody scores here, they surely would win the match now. 
Felipe. Kalstrom. Fernando Torres. Oh, it was a good little ball there from Tor Oh, he didn't pick it up. It was almost a good ball from Torres, but it looks as if this will end in a stalemate, to be honest. It will probably end 1-1. One, one. Unless something happens here, they've given it away. Oh, that is a great ball. It's called Strom. Oh, it would have been. It could have been. It maybe it should have been. Carl Strom, it would have been a great way to uh, start off his debut for the club there, coming on for Gerard. but never mind, it was a very good match in the end. I quite enjoyed that, to be honest. Uh, we went 1-0 down, maybe shouldn't have, but got ourselves back into it with a magnificent free kick from Leb. so very good match with Roma there. Individual game records, Haleb was the man of the match. Um, just pretty much because of his uh, free kick, I imagine, there. Torres played well, Gabriel Cisse played pretty well. You know, they all played pretty well. It wasn't an amazing match, but it was quite an enjoyable one. Uh, we've had some success with Dudek. We've finally be, been able to um, get him back and uh, get some uh, extra years out of him uh, by signing a new contract, so that's all right. So at least we've still got Dudek there. Anyway guys, looking at the uh, transfer market again, there's not really a lot going on. Um, we've managed to keep hold of Dudek. Um, I'm possibly thinking that maybe we could get rid of Dudek. Uh, maybe put him up for transfer and see if anybody wants him maybe. And maybe a chance to bring in a new keeper possibly, maybe a younger keeper. Um, or something like that, I'm not particularly sure at this point, but that's the only thing I could really think of. Um, apart from that, I'm still happy with the team, and as you can see, the funds, uh, we're nearly 10,000 up on the on the team salary almost, so it's not too bad, um, you know what I mean, it could be a lot worse. Um, so I think I'm just going to go straight ahead to the next week. So yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching this episode, uh, it was a decent draw against Roma, and next time we're going to be taking on Borussia Dortmund in week 41. See you guys then.